All right, so check this out. Back when the MPC 60 came out, right? I think it had something between 10 and 15, maybe 13 seconds of sampling time, right? Okay, remember that. Then maybe like the, the, the MPC 2000 made ahead. I don't even know if it was five minutes, but guess what? There were ways around that type of thing because now you have unlimited sampling time. You can sample something for 24 hours if you wanted to, right? And chop it up, but yeah, forget all that. But check this out. There are two techniques that we used to use all the time back in the 90s, right? When we had the MPC 60, the 2000, even something like the SB202, right? Because I had a dude one time tell me, man, I had the 202. I don't remember doing all of that at the scene of the video on Instagram of this dude banging out a banger on the SB202, right? So I'm like, yo, you never seen them speed up the sample and then slow it and then play it back and slow it back down? That's one thing we're gonna show you. And then also another one was, people was like, oh man, I don't have this kind of sound, that kind of sound to play on the keys on the ASR 10. Let me show you something real quick. These are two things we used to do back in the day to get it popping. Yo, we was locked in the room. It wasn't no IG, it wasn't no Facebook, it wasn't no YouTube, it wasn't none of that. It wasn't even AOL back then, I don't think, not yet. All right, so yo, check this out. Real quick and fast, you know what I mean? Let's go. All right, all right. Word up. Up. All right, so now, check this out. We have the Newmark PT-01, right? Okay. This has 33, 45, and 78 RPMs, right? Reps per minute, right? Now, back in the day, like I said, we didn't have a lot of sampling time, right? So what you could do, right, was you would literally have your sample on the turntable, right? Stop, you bastards! Watch this. Right, you see that? All right, so I sampled that at 30... I mean at 45, right? We're gonna take take it even further, you know what I'm saying? Now watch this. New sample, right? We got the new sample up. We sampled what four seconds, right? This is four seconds right here. You see what I'm saying? And it's this is the same thing in the in the old machines, right? You can tune it down with the SB12, SB1200. They had the sliding controls where you could tune it down. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're here to do. You see what I'm saying? All right, so check this out. And that's how we save sampling time, right? So now we got that sample in there, you know? You see what I'm saying? We doing old school style sampling right now. You're not ready. <laughs> It's the other sample. Same thing. Over here, we're gonna turn it down. Now what I wanna do with this is, I'm gonna extract some of these pieces, right? Cause I'm gonna just turn the 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Extract. Call it that right there. Then we're going to take some of this right here. And then we're going to extract this. Extract that as well. And then come down to this little piece at the end. Let's extract this as well. There we go. I think that's it. Okay, so we can just definitely take this, right? And make something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Old school sampling by yours truly, man. Let's do something with this right here. Let's go back to this. Turn it into a hi-hat, you know what I mean? Bring up down to about 89. Uh-huh. Go to program edit. Turn poly on. Well, I like that with the static game. I took this out. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put velocity on here. Get that random effect. Let's add some EQ. I'm gonna add some little clean drums on top of that. So now we got the percussion down, right? Now remember that other thing I was telling you about what you can do, right? So check this out. All right, so let's go to, we're gonna go to get a little key thing, right? We're gonna take this right here. Hit loop. All right, there we go. Now.
right, so what I did was I came over to the little keyboard icon, hit that, right? Then you go into the program, uh, edit. <clears throat> I selected my sample and I selected just a small itsy bitsy piece, right? And I hit the pad loop. That caused it to just repeat that little bit of part, you know what I mean? And that's that, you know what I mean? So we got the oldest old school sounding track right now. making glasses off so yeah check this out i don't ever 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 want you to hit me up talking about kirk state man this is this this is hard man no i can't do it you sound like a whiny little beat maker got so much potential these days you see how i use those two simple steps just to make a late 80s early 90s b-boy type mantronic type beat you know what i'm saying we can go get just ice on the phone right now and he can rock to that you know what i'm saying Yo, it was real, I mean, it was very hard back then. You had to be creative. You had to be creative, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody came up with these ideas and showed each other, We and we made beats with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We had the, the Dr. Rhythms, you know what I'm saying? We had the rolling guitar sampler, the little blue joint. We had to make it work. We didn't have all this stuff now that's at the, right at your fingertips. You see what I'm saying? We didn't have all this, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have all that. So we had to make it work. So I don't want to hear no excuses. I want you to get out there and make it work. You know what I'm saying? Old school, old man style, whatever you want to call it. You can take that little technique and put it in your own production right this second, even with your 72 hours of sample time.